guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> you know how they say you should make hay while the sun shines right that's the case for this current news i'm about to release we have 11 more hours to a possible lockdown in nigeria especially in places high incidence areas like abuja lagos and ogun state i heard that a lot of people at shopping malls that are lined up to get things and only five people are allowed to enter at a time thankfully we we're able to get our things before the lockdown the lockdown is going to go on for two weeks oh my god how is it gonna be <laughs> everybody is going on a lockdown for two weeks i'm going to the mall to get um bread actually just bread i need to get we we're able to get most of our things so i already filmed one i went to the uh, mall like last week to get a few things and as at that time there was no news on the lockdown yet but as i yesterday the president addressed we nigerians that we are going to go on a lockdown starting from 11 pm today today being I've lost count of what today is. It's today being Monday, so the lockdown is starting from 11 p.m. today, about 6 now, 6 p.m. now. So we have like, do the math, we have five more hours to a lockdown. Really can't tell how the lockdown is going to look like in Nigeria, but I quickly want to go get my the bread because that's only what we really need god help us this two weeks is going to be the longest two weeks it's crazy come with me let's go and check and see what is going on in the street I saw some comments like nigerian comments on a particular blog that <laughs> it's not possible for places like Ogun state and lagos to go on a lockdown even abuja but i obviously would know where to go out on a lockdown day because that might be quite dangerous they might go hard use some kind of military measures or something like that so i wouldn't want to come out on a lockdown day just to come and prove myself wrong or something i rather respect myself and stay home to avoid any story that touches the heart i can't even find bikes once i come out from the exit i usually find um bikes to take but now there are no bikes outside so, and the streets are actually the streets are empty <laughs> literally but there's still some cars moving around it's not funny guys i cannot get a bike like seriously are you kidding me? How am I going to get to my destination today? Am I supposed to walk or something? <laughs> the road, this is a road, it's empty. You can just see cars coming in ones and twos. Why can't I get a bike? Okay, I think that's a bike, man. So let me see if it's going. Did they go? I got one. See you guys. If they're going to allow me in the estates, we don't have a shopping mall in our estate. So that is the reason why I'm coming to this estate to get things i want to get so one thing i notice is that motorcycles are on strike already they usually are more on a normal day but now i can hardly see a motorcycle this is quite sad because what i keep thinking is what about people that live daily on what they are able to sell for that day so how would they be able to cope with these two weeks if when they are not able to sell a thing but guys this is real look at the line is practically empty what the hell what's going on it's empty what the hell is going on what just wash our hands now i see people literally lining up outside yeah. <laughs> I went to was practically empty the other ones had people like lining up you saw the people that lined up there were so many people lining up before you even get what you want to get plus the heat inside the place it's just too much it's stuffy and I wasn't able to get my bread so I'm going to go to another product shop to get the bread I want to get this is just bread I'm getting oh my god the bread are finished they don't have the bread I'm looking for this is small bread they have They've gotten all the bread. The big breads are finished. And they are telling me to buy this one because if I don't buy it, this one is going to finish too. Everyone is just trying to gather all that they can. Even bread is finished. Bread. The only thing I was remaining was one tiny, tiny stuff that they call bread. It's a real thing, honestly. Finally, like there was even a woman that was like, ah, Nigerians are so gullible that why are they buying a lot of things? Because the shops are not going to close down. Those ones that are selling essential things will still be open. It's an uncertain time. So people have to like be prepared for whatever might happen or whatever would come up. 
so i don't blame anybody for buying like a lot of things that's it guys that's all for today thank you all for watching i hope you stay safe and i will see you another time bye bye